Boom. All right, what's going on, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Stock Talk, a series where we take a look at a few stocks that are exciting me personally at the moment. Today, we are going to be covering the EV sector, you guys, the definition of a revolutionary industry. So I'm always excited to cover EVs with you guys, especially the one we're going to kick it off with. I think you know where that's going. It's been performing exceptionally well. So once again, excited to dive in. As always, let's quickly go over each topic we're going to be discussing, and then we'll dive into each one individually this one is going to be short and sweet you guys we've been doing this a lot but that's just because price action is so exciting we are going to be spending the entirety of our session today on trading you talking price action talking price targets and of course talking technicals so we will take a look at the falling stocks today in this order going down the watch list as you can see right here on the right get it off with the one and only the moonshot the mars shot more like it a l y i alternate systems you guys super exciting price action over the past couple days this thing has been running and i think uh I don't want to say the party is guaranteed to continue, but it's looking really good. So we will kick it off with this, uh, once again, my personal Mars shot, ALYI. We'll then move on to Workhorse. Of course, Workhorse has been performing very well, a very hot stock over the course of 2020 and carrying that over into 2021. So we will take a look at Workhorse as well. Then on to the Chinese EV automakers, Liado, Xpeng or Xpev, uh, move on to Blink. We're going to skip, I <laughs> should have done Neo right here. You know what? We'll do Neo and then Blink, okay? So just keep the Chinese EV automakers alive. Lee, XPEV, and then NEO, of course. Um, we will then move on to Blink, very hot, very hot EV stock as well, Blink charging stations. And then we'll close it out with a not, not electric vehicle play, but yes, I know the crypto combo was yesterday, but I forgot to throw this in there. And the, the price action today was so exciting and it's just looking so good. And I see so much potential for the stock. So I will throw it in at the end if any of you guys want to stick around. It is currency works, you guys. This is such an exciting blockchain technology play, in my opinion. Very small market cap, super exciting potential here. So we will cover that at the end if you guys want to stick around for a little crypto play, a little crypto bonus, okay? So excited to dive in for the last time always excited uh but before we do as always you guys i will ask you to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it today or if you're invested in or trading any of the stocks we're going to be talking about subscribe to the channel if you're new around here want to catch more content like this always covering these exciting revolutionary industries and of course check out my complete portfolio daily newsletter first link down in the description if you want the following a complete breakdown of my entire portfolio that i do update every single trading day during market hours and with every update i also send out an email newsletter explaining my thoughts so uh, I, I cover on a pretty daily basis uh, many of the stocks we're going to be talking about today, along with, of course, crypto plays, biotech plays, literally everything in my portfolio. So you get an entire list of everything in my portfolio. Uh, literally, all call options, put options, stock positions, cryptocurrencies, all the goodies. I do update that once again every trading day and send out that email newsletter in your email inbox every single trading day, every morning during market hours, rationalizing my trades, explaining to you guys my thoughts, giving you guys analyses of anything that I think is important. So 15 bucks a month, first link down in the description if you're interested at all. As always, though, if not, no worries. Let's get into this. So ALYI, guys. Again, we started covering this about a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago now, and it has been absolutely performing. You'll love to see it. So ALYI is following a very, like just a, a, a pretty textbook ascending channel or ascending beam-like channels, I like to call it, that megaphone, the megaphone channel. Not like that, but like that. So it's looking very nice. It's looking very promising. This is like healthy growth. You're seeing just higher highs, higher lows here on the chart. So Again, ALYI did close the day up almost 30%. It feels so good to you guys because yeah, for, for full transparency, I, I know most of you guys know this, but if, you're, if you happen to be new here, I'm a very large shareholder of ALYI, uh, at least for me. And uh, it, it's super exciting to see this kind of price action here. And uh, yeah, let's so so let's talk price targets. And I'll, I'll give you guys a little disclaimer at the end about uh, my thoughts on ALYI moving forward, okay? So ALYI, again, following this nice beam like channel, this nice uh, this nice short term uptrend beginning on January 6th. So just this year, it's gone from just two cents. I think I have an entry price of about 27 cents at this point, or sorry, 0.27 cents, not 27 cents, 0.27 cents. So crazy how small it's, it's crazy when you're talking about like just cents here. But again, kicking it off, at about 0.22 cents now sitting at 0.85 cents you guys crazy climb almost a 4x since that entry point which is beautiful to see call it call it a clean 3x um yeah just just using this initial trend line as a line of resistance and uh, i think it's very likely that we come up to test that uh to test that line if we test it tomorrow on february 5th friday that would take us to about 12 cents but if we do test it next week, Friday, it would take us to 14 cents. So of course you guys, this is a steep trend line. So it's very dependent on when it strikes it, that will alter my price target. As always guys, download trading, you draw these trend lines for yourself. I always want you learning and, and doing these things for yourself. So, um, so when I'm gone, 
you guys can you guys can not saying that i'm gonna be gone but so that you guys can you know do your own thing and i want you guys to learn and actually execute take action as always okay so again 12 cents tomorrow 14 cents if we hit it next week friday uh, crazy gains uh, from here uh in all honesty because we've been rallying i wouldn't be i wouldn't be all that surprised you guys know i'm an ALYI bull but in all honesty i wouldn't be completely surprised if we do see a pullback tomorrow fridays tend to be the most volatile uh, trading day of the week uh if a stock's been ripping all week it's likely that that some traders will want to take profits on fridays so um i will let you guys know that I personally am not trading this stock. I, I view this as a venture capital investment. I mentioned this in the newsletter this morning. Shout out to you guys if you read that. Um, so yeah, I've, I view this as a venture investment, you guys. My price target, as many of you know, ultimately is $10 for ALYI. I don't care if it takes years, but I just see so I, this this company, in my opinion, has such an amazing vision. For once again, those of you who may be new here, they are, uh, they are how as I explained it, not in their words, in mine, they are trying to be the Harley Davidson of electric vehicles so they have a sick bike called the revolt that they want to distribute in africa emerging market super exciting stuff you guys go of course go take a look at their website for yourself alternate systems just google that you'll find it so do some research for yourself of course but uh again i think a ten dollar a ten dollar uh share price would equate to a one billion dollar market cap this thing has a tiny market cap oh let's move my fat head quick of only 10 million dollars hit the big 10 we hit the big 10 million this morning that's exciting but i still see so much potential from here from from this point right here that's 100x potential so uh, 100x potential would equate to a 1 billion dollar market cap and in this current market environment where things are just so overinflated and uh in, in all reality people just want a good story for the most part i see so much potential in this so ten dollar price target uh you guys do know once again i do have to throw the disclaimer this is a speculative company they don't have products out there they don't have profits they just have a really good story and uh, I, I mess with the vision super super heavy so i'm very excited to see where this goes again it could take time maybe we pull back tomorrow if we do see a pullback so i got a little sidetracked if we do see a pullback it wouldn't surprise me to come down to the previous high of of, of the current short-term rally that would take us to a about 72 cents so maybe if we do sell off again you guys don't um as always you guys always make your own decisions but my rationale if if it does come down keep in mind because i once again i'm a large shareholder so this would make a dent if we come down here but i i'm very long term with this a lot of other plays we do focus focus on the short term swing trading uh, requires you to focus primarily on on the short to medium term but this play specifically because i see so much long-term potential in it i don't care about the whoop de doos i don't care about the roller coaster volatility is your friend and uh, just embrace the volatility if you really believe in the fundamentals of something over the long term so if we do see it if we do see it pull back on friday we'd come down to 72 cents i think that's the most likely area that we'd pull back to if we hit 72 cents tomorrow i am picking up even even more you guys i'm an absolute accumulation mode on this stock so if we come down to 72 cents i'm definitely picking up a bag all right so again top side price targets if we hit it tomorrow uh 11 cents 12 cents we'll, we'll just call it 11 and a half 12 cents if we hit it next friday on the 12th that would take us to about 14 cents and if we break through the short-term uptrend we're taking the rocket ship straight to the moon baby but not the moon because the waves family does not go to the moon we are going to mars you guys know the drill waves family does not go to the moon we go right past it we're going all the way to mars okay so i <laughs> hope you guys like that one a little cheesy there but i thought you guys would like that so uh again that's like a recurring joke on the channel if you guys haven't been new that sounds super goofy if you guys are new but again not going to the moon that's like the cliche thing everyone's saying right now we've got to be a step ahead of them we're going to mars all right so that is ALYI again you guys just a super fun play in my opinion so much potential and uh yeah i'm excited to see where that goes so moving on to workhorse stock so last time we i think last time we covered workhorse was about a week ago and these trend lines Again, you guys, I always talk about these random trend lines of accuracy. I guess this one isn't super accurate, but pretty accurate. It's almost using it as a lot of support on this uptrend. Uh, Workhorse is getting pretty close to testing my my ultimate up uh, my ultimate line of resistance on this longer term uptrend. Be this is a very long term uptrend beginning in on July 1st of 2020. You see it come down, bubble pop, come back up. That's two wave, and then it capitulated for a long time. I was printing this huge wedge. Once it broke out of the wedge, it started shooting up, and that's when it was fairly clear to me that we were probably gonna come up to test the top line of resistance i was honestly hoping i was really really hoping when i drew these lines around here on a on the on the first of february so just a few days ago just last week um i was really really hoping that we would come down to test retest the top side of the wedge that acted as resistance for a long time and then i would have picked up a bag and then we would have t uh, came back up i was wrong here i have a stock position i wish i accumulated a call option position uh, for full transparency i didn't um 
but workhorse if you, if you guys did please let me know if you guys have calls if you guys have even a stock position has been doing very well lately so congratulations to you guys if you got in on that i didn't catch this one for a call option position but uh congratulations to you guys if you did once again let me know let me know if you guys uh are eating good on any of these of course below please um so yeah, this is this is pretty simple. Again, using the high from July, the long term the long term highs once in September, creating this long term line of resistance on the overall uptrend, and uh, my price target for workhorse because we're probably gonna hit it sooner. Maybe we come, maybe we pull back tomorrow, and then ultimately hit this next week. So say we hit it just on March first, you guys. Again, just draw these trend lines for yourself, please. Hit it March first. That's forty eight dollars. But say we hit it tomorrow. Say we happen to hit it. What the heck? Why is it so? Okay, here we go. Got to zoom in a little bit here. Say we hit it tomorrow, that would take us to about $46, okay? So if we hit it tomorrow, that would take us to $46 because Workhorse has just been crushing it lately. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But if Workhorse does hit that, I do think it will ultimately come back down to test this trend line at some point. This is my buy zone. So if we do ultimately come down to test the previous line of resistance on this wedge, use it as new support, that is where I'm very comfortable buying Workhorse, especially with all the fundamentals behind them and all the government contracts, et cetera, for their vehicles, all right? Very exciting times for Workhorse. Now on to my single favorite. This is my personal favorite um, Chinese automaker play. Uh, just because I feel like at the at the moment it's the most undervalued for what they provide, uh, Lee Auto. So Lee Auto is is I mean this this chart is very clean. I'm seeing a I'm seeing a nice medium term up flat. Uh nice medium term bull flag printing here beginning at the end of october you see the parabolic move up that creates a flag pull of course followed by a descending triangle which creates the flag itself classic bull flag my favorite my single favorite pattern in the market the almost the easiest to trade it's very uh it's not 100 guaranteed of course you guys in this market especially in this current 2021 market environment nothing is guaranteed but bull flags uh significantly more often than not do play out with a breakout to the upside hence the name bull flag so I think that this will be resolved very, very soon. Like I'm talking that like by next week, this will probably be resolved. And I do believe this will uh, be, be resolved in a breakout to the upside. So my upside price target, again, a lot of traders are going to be looking at this. I don't think that's fair. And I don't think that's, I don't, I don't feel comfortable giving you guys that price target. So I will be more conservative. Again, you have a lot more touch points here using this initial touch point prior to a little scoop up to, uh, to test that all time high for Lee at like 47.50. Again, beginning back here at the IPO, it's been an uptrend. It's, it's, it's definitely has this, this trend line is 100 in play right here so if we do break out of this bull flag successfully like i expect us to i do expect us to come up to a high of 65 dollars say we hit it march 10th all right again you guys these price targets i do always just randomly draw them wherever i feel fit whatever looks good to me just kind of like macro like bird's eye view on the charts i'll just draw it wherever i feel is necessary so say say maybe maybe it hits it a lot sooner say it hits it on february 10th say it hits it next week which is very unlikely in my opinion but things happen um i think i think feb like mid february we'll do february let's do february february 25th february 18th there we go at the very tip of the bull flag if we hit it there that takes us to about 60 bucks okay so again you guys it, because it's such a steep trend line it does of course uh it is dependent on when we strike that so uh Again, just keep an eye on it for yourself. But I'm personally very excited to see what happens with Lee Auto. Moving on to Xpeng. Xpeng, very, very similar. Both uh, both IPO'd around the same time. Both very similar charts. You see that parabolic move up. The bull flag, again, parabolic move, flag pull, flag uh, descending triangle is the flag itself. I think Xpeng also will resolve itself. This, I don't think, sorry, dang it. This one didn't sink, you guys, my bad. So Xpeng, Xpeng's, Xpeng's chart is a little tougher to tell, in all honesty, where where this could go um i will just i will just assume it's pretty similar to lee auto so let's actually the way i'll dictate this is with a price range real quick so let's see like just say from this high right here uh just conservative you guys you could start at the bottom i don't feel comfortable doing that just from this high right here this rally was about 87 percent, which is actually pretty insane so that's an 87 percent rally if we rally 87 percent from from like right here that would take us to that would take us to about, uh, where is that? That would take us to about $86, okay? So a cool, like, pretty much 2X right there. If we hit 86, no, not a two, no, sorry, not a 2X. Um, almost a 2X, you guys up like 80, 85% or something. So uh, I do expect us to just play out something similar. Again, you guys, this could be, this is a little conservative. We could go higher. X-Pen could hit $100 if it wants to, but um, I think this is pretty conservative, so I'll just make uh, $85 my price target for XPeng, just because it's a lot tougher to to draw a trend line right here. Like obviously you could extend, sorry, obviously you could like extend that out, but that's just completely unrealistic. So I'm not going to do that. So yeah, $85 we'll call it there. Neo, 
the one I'm personally not bullish on, you guys know that, uh, Neo, great company, sick cars. I think this one will probably be the leader in the space for a while, in all honesty, uh, just because they have more infrastructure built out than the, than, the, uh, than the previous two. But this thing is just this thing is just rallied so hard. So we have, while we have the price range here, let's take it from May of 2020. So once once that rally started, you see the March lows back here, which is barely even visible. May of 2020, when Neo started this long term rally, Neo is up approximately 1,470 percent from a low of like four dollars and seventy cents to a high of sixty seven dollars, about fourteen almost 1500 percent rally you guys at 15x that's absolutely insane and that's just no matter how good a company is like bit like a cryptocurrency or so like bitcoin specifically makes sense to see a 15x because it's not a product subject to financials and like sales etc uh, bitcoin like gold is an asset in itself but when a product is subject to financials likely like some of these automakers like literally every company in the in the nasdaq in the in the public i should say like the public markets is they're subject to financials so 15x in less than a year just doesn't make sense to me personally um no matter how good the business is going so lee or so so neo is in my personal opinion with a let's take a look at this market cap market cap move my fat head with a 75 billion dollar valuation keep in mind you guys tesla is at what like 750 million right now billion i'm sorry 750 billion be a big buyer of tesla at 750 mil but it is still uh when you compare it to tesla which it's not it's it's still not even comparable to tesla from a financial perspective from like a sales and numbers and revenue perspective um so it's not comparable but i guess if you compare it that way like oh tesla's 750 billion neo's only 75 billion that's that's probably what a lot of people are thinking but that's not the case um so i personally do think neo will see a pullback i think it's just rallied way too hard but i do have a couple price targets that i want to share with you guys so say we come down to test the previous line of this ascending channel which i was keeping an eye on for a long time once it broke out that's when neo really saw it rally from about 30 dollars um, to a high in that short-term rally of about uh, 55 dollars so almost a 2x um, if we use the top the top line of resistance on the previous ascending channel uh say we hit it at the beginning of march i'll just use uh, the beginning of march uh, as my price targets that'll take us to 42 dollars if we do that i'm very comfortable picking up a neo position potentially or uh more likely in my opinion i think we could come down to test the bottom side of the previous uh ascending channel the, the ultimate line of support if we start to see a stark correction um and that would take us to say we hit it once again march 1st that would take us to about 33 dollars so 33 dollars and anywhere in this range honestly i'm comfortable i would personally be comfortable establishing a longer term neo position because that's when you're getting a little more into the realm of fair value you guys i know who am i who what is what is value even more in this current market environment but uh, at this i'm definitely not a buyer at these levels just to be 100 honest with you guys but from the 35 to 45 from the 35 to 40 dollar level i would be comfortable picking up neo okay so blink and then we'll close it out once again with our crypto bonus play c work um blink if it will load come on what's going on you guys is c work gonna load uh-oh uh-oh guys what's going on okay sorry i was like no way there's no way i'm restarting this video okay so bear with me you guys please wi-fi is lagging a little bit come on baby come on trading view i think I, i'm not gonna blame trading you for you for this one i'm gonna blame spiking my wi-fi it's so windy in hawaii right now you guys so uh i will give i will give the wi-fi the cable company's a little break why isn't it loading you guys oh i'm sorry okay well we'll, we'll start with c work i guess and then close it out with blink all right so wait no blink should blink should definitely okay there we go if c works loading i was like blink's got to be loading so blink Initially, we did cover this last week in our EV stock talk. I did think it was going to come straight up to test the top line of resistance around $80. It did not do that. It came down, and it is currently on the bottom side of this channel. So actually, if we switch this around, Blink looks very, very appealing right now. Okay, so Blink, boop. If we move this around, get rid of this guy, and uh, probably get rid of this guy too. I think this is this is pretty likely. Blink, maybe we go sideways again, considering tomorrow is Friday. Fridays tend to be a little more volatile. Um say we go flat if we touch this trend line and on like tomorrow just come down a few percent to 49 dollars that's a very exciting look for blink in my opinion unless we break below this of course but right now blink is looking very promising it is on the bottom side of this ascending channel of this medium term ascending channel very clean very easy um in all honesty pretty easy trades with ascending channels i really like ascending channels almost as much as bull flags because they're very just easy to read so on the lower end of this bottom side ascending channel i will i can't i can say although blink has rallied significantly as well like very significantly um 
I will say that from a trading perspective, from a swing trading perspective, this does look like an appealing trade to me just because, again, the, the RIT's all about risk reward profile, right? So the downside, uh, granted, this ascending channel does come into play and this does successfully use this lower line as a line of support. Uh, the downside significantly, uh, significantly is significantly outweighed by the upside all right so the upside potential is, is is greater than the downside potential okay if we do use this once again as a successful line of support and we do come up to test the top side say mid-february that would take us to an 88 dollar blink which from here is is looking pretty good so blink again there's a lot of hype this is a very hype play their their financials i've been following blink since they were at like uh, again way back here this is when we first you guys, you guys can see all these trend lines back here this is when we first started talking about blink so blink is similar to neo in the sense that it has just rallied at like pretty um unprecedented measures so um even i personally am a little skeptical buying blink in all honesty i do hold blink stock i do not hold blink call options at the moment um i might consider again if everything goes uh goes accordingly but even at these levels for blink for a company that is subject to their financials no matter how cool the story is uh blink is just has, has just rallied a little too much for my personal opinion all right so that's my take um again hit it mid february 90 dollars price target roughly closing it out with c work you guys so c work beautiful beautiful bull flag execution right here this is exactly why i like bull flags so you see again this parabolic move up you could almost say this is the two wave theory as well you see the par parabolic move up followed by this descending triangle it's building strength it's gaining steam it's capitulating and it finally just today broke out of the bull flag almost perfectly so c work C work again. Keep in mind, you guys, ALYI and C work because they have that little D right there. That means they are over the counter stocks or OTC stocks. I personally used to, I get so many questions about this. I personally use TD Ameritrade for all, um, for all of my OTC stocks. I also want to make, I meant to say this in the beginning, you guys, I want to, I want to give you guys, uh, the notice that I know there's a lot of bots in the comments. There's so many people acting like me. So always know that if it's me commenting, there's stupid WhatsApp and there's these clowns, dude, these bots are clowns. I block and try to get rid of it, as many of them as I can. Literally every day I block at least 10 and they just keep coming. I don't know what bot farm keeps farming these stupid bots, but I can't get rid of them. I wish YouTube would do something about it, but I can't. So I'm asking you guys to please be smart. If it's actually me replying, which I'll never ask you guys to join my WhatsApp, invest in crypto, you guys. It's it's all going to be native on YouTube for me. I'm not going to ask you for anything. Don't send anyone anything on YouTube, okay? But if it's me replying, my name will be highlighted with a little gray bar. So always know that I just got an email from one of the newsletter subscribers this morning saying someone's going around with an email, like switching the C and the E in my name. So it looks like my email. It's not me, you guys. So please just be cautious out there. I'm never going to ask you for to invest in my crypto and I'll double your crypto. So please be smart. Um, I just had to let you guys know that because I just I just remembered that I forgot to mention that in the beginning. So please be smart out there, guys. Be safe. That goes for all YouTubers, not just me. Um, anyway, C work again. I'm, I'm sure you guys were probably just looking at this, like looking at the price targets while I was saying that. But um, C work again. It broke out of the bull flag. You're seeing the two wave, the first wave right here. Bubble pops, capitulate. You're seeing it uh, gain steam. This is exactly how Xnet is looking right now as well. As we spoke of yesterday, broke out of the bull flag successfully. It is now in a short term uptrend. It has now confirmed that short term uptrend, printing a higher high than right here. So C work. My price price target for C work. Say we hit it mid February, February 16th it is a dollar and ninety cents from seventy cents. That is very. That's over two x, and uh, that's almost like a two. That's like a two point five x right there. So. Um, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see it, you guys. Again, C work does have a small market cap at of only twenty six million dollars, similar to LYI at ten million dollars. It takes very, very little capital inflow to appreciate the individual share price, which is why I really like these exciting small market cap stocks, these OTC stocks. Um, and again, think about the think about if these do go public, if the NYSE, if the New York Stock Exchange picks them up, makes them not over the counter, makes them available on Robinhood and other platforms. It just makes these plays so much more exciting. That's why I view both ALYI and C work as both venture capital investments my money is planted in here and i'm not touching it for a while okay i could trade it again if you guys want to trade it that's perfectly cool to each their own i'm not doing that um these are my money is tied up until these things hit like i, I wouldn't be surprised if c work also hits ten dollars easy at some point all right so ten dollar price target for both alyi and c work long term short term though my c work price target is about a dollar and 80 uh just uh, just to be safe a dollar and 80 cents all right so we will call it there, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stock Talk. This was a super, I mean, I love, I actually really like uh, these these episodes where we just, just talk the charts just because I can just spit and I can just flow. Um, 
of course we will include some articles here and there i do kind of miss reading articles and just getting fundamental with you guys but again the price action's just just been so exciting lately that i don't want to spend too much time covering anything else aside from that because i feel like that's what you guys want to see as well so please let me know down below if you miss the articles if you like just these strictly strictly chart plays if you like just spending our entire days on trading view which is perfectly fine with me but please let me know down below let me know what your favorite stock here is let me know what you're excited about alyi see work to mars baby so i'll talk to you downstairs in the comment section waves fam until next time always remember take action make waves peace